It's uh, time to sweep the chimneys in the old Bald Explorer household. And this is not a, a clean job. And I found this rather delightful overall. Actually, I think it's Erica's, one of my viewers, who helped me do the tiling on the floor here. Oh, must have been three years ago now, when I originally, just before I got my Essie. Uh, so thank you, Erica, she's left it here, but I'm gonna make use of it uh, because I don't want the soot to <laughs> come tumbling down on my clothes, naturally. <clears throat> now, yesterday I was doing a little bit of this. I've already done the front room and I was out there um, sticking the, the, the sticks up the chimney and the brush, I got a new brush. Uh, it took a bit of time to uh, get the thread on because I think the thread was not the, it, compatible with the thread on mine. It was a plastic thing, a bit cheap and cheerful, I think. So I've wedged it on, I had to get a spanner and wedge it on anyway. I've managed to clean out the chimney on the front on the in the um, front room there um, and that's relatively easy I mean all the stuff comes flying down and what have you and it's a bit of a pain but I've done it so that's all good um, I have a number of issues with my chimney here so I've got this fire here which I forget what it is um, a pioneer something or other uh, I'm sure regular viewers who've got these things would take interest would know what it is. But anyway, it's um, it's a wood burning stove and I only burn wood. Underneath here is a plate that goes up to seal the chimney in which the tube of the chimney goes into. And the advantage of that is that any soot that comes down hits the plate and stays on the plate. The tube goes up the chimney a certain distance. Some people have their chimneys completely lined and I think you're supposed to legally now if you sell a house or if you uh, sell it with a wood-burning stove that is or if you buy a house or you have it installed. But I've had this for years, well before the time. The thing is this plate is coming to the end of its life and I need to put another plate. It looks a bit like this and this is the replacement plate that's going to go in the chimney. However, this has been cut slightly wrong. It's about half an inch too wide, so it won't actually fit in there. So I've got to trim this down here by half an inch, absolutely straight and according to the measurements of, of my chimney. I can't do that at the moment. I haven't got the right necessary tools to, to trim that, but I need to have it done and probably a quarter of an inch one side and a quarter of an inch the other side so that this hole is in the middle. So for the moment I'm going to put up with the metal plate there. It'll do another year um, or at least till the spring and then I should get it done. So I'm going to just stick this up the chimney, give it a good brush. This is a new brush. Last time I got the old one fell off, got stuck up the chimney. It was a hell of a job getting it out but I did. So this is a new brush. I've got it um, fixed onto the end of this. I've got a number of other rods and I should be shoving it up. kitchen version is uh, slightly different. For one thing it could be very messy uh, or it could be very easy. Before I had my painting clothes on which I've since washed because that was yesterday, uh, today I've got full protection on. So um, let's see if this is going to turn into a simple task 
or a nightmare. I've got my trusty brush all ready and all the rods so there's not much um, <clears throat> to do in preparation. I've got sheets down here. Uh, some people of course they shove sheets all over the place. I don't have very many uh, protective stuff and I'm hoping that this is all going to be contained somewhat. So here's the problem. Uh, this is why it could be a two-fold solution, <laughs> if, if you'll excuse. By the way, please excuse the light. I've had to put a, a film light in here and I haven't spent time making it look all nice and sexy and stuff because also it's quite dull outside, there's very little light coming in. Uh, but I also want to be able to see what I'm doing and these LED lights that I use for filming are very useful actually for doing tasks around the house. I, um, I had to uh, once change the ball cock in the, um, in the roof above the bathroom for the, for the hot water. Not the hot water for these pipes that you see here, the, the um, copper pipes. Um, this is for the, the hot... Uh, for the, uh, wait a minute, well it's kind of connected but it's on a separate system anyway, it doesn't really matter. And uh, these lights are so good, these LED lights, because they don't get hot. Um, and they're quite small and compact and you can carry them around and you can bash them a bit, not on purpose of course, but they can be um, and very, very useful. I love them. So uh, anyway, uh, I just, you know, sometimes I try to make the videos look really s s nice and sumptuous and, and sometimes they're just going to be raw and that's today. Anyway, you don't want to know that. Now on here, there's a plate on my pipe and that goes up and uh, and then it goes into the uh, bare chimney. Now I know some people, and I'm, I know I'm going to get this because everybody's an expert, some people say, oh, but you should have it all the way up the chimney. And that's something I'm aspiring to. It, co it costs quite a few, about a couple of grand to have that done. But this is an old Victorian house and these chimneys were designed originally for that purpose. So it goes up, the chi it goes up a certain way uh, and then it opens up. So it, no flames ever get up there, just the smoke. And then it's quite a wide flue and it's purely up. So that's okay. Now, one of the problems I have is I'm hoping I can get my brush and my rods in here and up. That would be great. Sweep the chimney, stuff will collect in here. Uh, and then it's just a question of easing the plate over here off and getting rid of the debris the soot and what have you, which, I mean, it'll spill out and make a bit of a mess, but it can be cleaned up. Um, if I can't get the rods to bend, it means I've got to take the whole pipe out. And that is a big job. That is a really big job. I don't want to have to do that. It also means that there's nothing to stop um, <laughs> all the debris just... <laughs> so I'd have to set up a bag and try and capture most of it. And dust goes everywhere. And that's a pain. So. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge because I've not done this before. I should have cleaned it last year, but for one reason or... Oh, uh, I didn't have brushes and various things. So I must do it this year. Uh, I usually do it every two years. It's a big old chimney, so it's not like a... F if it was just the flu, I think I'd do it every year, if not twice a year. Um, anyway, so that's what we've got to do. So the first task is to take this plate off and... Fortunately, it's got a couple of screws here, so it should come off quite easily, which will be nice. The important thing is not to lose the screws, so I'm going to place them on a shelf or possibly in a cup or something so that I don't actually lose them. Uh, because when I finish the task, I've got to put this plate back on, very important, and if I lose the screws, uh, I can't do it and I haven't got any others, so there's two of these, so I'm going to do that. However, so here is the access point and I'm hoping that the brush will go in and bend. So this is going to be uh, the make or break of it. I have another smaller brush which I can do, which I often do just to sort of go up and down this flue to stop it from getting too flaky. But if I put my hand in there, as you can hear, it's it does get a bit, but there's still, it's six inches, there's still plenty of flue space in there and I can actually feel the cold, uh, the draft going up and down. Right, let's uh, just um, see if we can get the brush up there next. So this is the moment of truth. Got the brush and you may think, ah, it's too small. Well, maybe it is, 
what I tend to do in order to get it through easily is just bend the brush bit down. Aha! Whew. So that's going to be relatively simple. Some of it's going to come out. Now I need to put the next piece on. They screw in, as you saw before, in my front room. Um, so, see how this goes. Quite nervous about this, actually, because I've never done it through this flue. But it's similar to in the front room. That's got a flue that goes up so far and you pung it up. You get to the end of the flue and, and all of that. So... Uh, it's just slightly different in the other one. You don't have a great bulky. I managed to move the fire out of the way. Right. The difficulty here is attaching the uh, the thing because of the angle. Once they're attached, they're all right. So I've got a spanner to help me screw them up. Oh, here we go. Now you might think, how do you know when you've gone, gone to the top and you've come out the other end of the pot? And that's a very good question. You actually feel it, and I think I've probably got there now, um, but I can go outside <laughs> and have a look. This has actually been a lot easier so far than before. The next bit is to clear, not much has fallen down here, uh, which has been useful, but of course it's presumably it is on either side of this, a lot of the, the debris. So I can unscrew that and pull it out. So that'll be the next, uh, the next little task. Got, um, I've got a plastic bag here. It's not really going to capture anything if it comes out rather badly, uh, but it's it's sort of ready. Um, and I'm going to put my plate back on. Very important. And I got the screws, so we'll just shove that on. Okay, so now I need to unscrew these and just lower this plate, I think, and we'll see how much detritus has uh, come, come down.
Well, there we go. Ah, as you can see, there was a lot of stuff coming out and um, I've now managed to get the pipe back in and the plate back in. Um, I just need to tidy up. Everything is a mess. My hands are black as the ace of and uh, there's all this clinker stuff all over the floor. But that's a job uh, well done. So um, I'm very pleased with that. However, and I've looked up the chimney, the integral, uh, integra integrality, whatever the word is, integral, the integral part of the chimney is all sound, looks nice and clean. Yes, it's blackened with the tar that's uh, naturally absorbed to it, but um, it's got a clear flue up there. Um, and actually now looking at it, I can see, and having done this, this has been really useful for me, um, I'm going to get it lined properly. I'll get through the winter this winter um, and then once it's a bit warmer and what have you and I'm not using it quite so much, I will give it another clean and line it. I can save up the money. I can see because it is a straight line, it, it, there's plenty of space to get it lined. And of course, now that I've done it this way by bunging it through the hatch, I know that in the future I can just clean that and it'll be very easy. Whereas I won't have to take the gubbins off and empty the box because it just won't be in there. So I've learned a lot from doing this. Now I know that there'll be experts out there or people who think they're experts because everybody's a bloody expert on YouTube um, who will have said, oh yes, you've got to get it lined and all this. Yes, I appreciate that. I appreciate that and, and I'm going to. So please don't nag at me. People do like to nag. Anyway, uh, so I've learned lots from just doing it this way and it'll be so much easier. And watch this space, basically, because I'll show you the process of doing that as I do it. So that's been a job well done. Right, I'm gonna tidy up, clean up, and uh, make the place spick and span. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Hey ho. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Sorry it's all just been about the chimney this time, but um, I, I'm hoping it's interesting. Those people with gas central heating are just laughing their socks off saying, well, we don't have to do this, or people with heat pumps. But you know what it's like, if your gas central heating goes wrong, you have to get an expert out. Here, I just get my brushes and away I go. As long as there's not a chimney fire. I know, there'll be people who comment, you watch, down there, the negatives, but I'm just gonna ignore them for the time being and I will get it lined, so have no problems. Till next time, bye-bye.